Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try London Eye by Just Jack. So it's been a time I haven't reviewed any Just Jack and I bought three new ones, London Eye version X and Centol Bloom, I think. Yeah, Centol Bloom. And I'm gonna try them all. So we're gonna start this week with London Eye, which is a clone of London by Tom Ford. So here's what the bottle looks like. Personally, I would say it's a best looking of the three new bottles I got. I'm gonna show you here, here. The next video, we're gonna see full presentation of the other one. Without the cap for the box, it's like this. So now we're gonna try the smell. So first of all, this somewhat remind me of Wood for Greatness. There's a, a little something, you know, there's saffron and there is wood in it. Even though I would say that it's not quite the saffron, even the saffron is there, it's the cumin note in it. And it's just, it's really powerful. And with the saffron, it's kind of mixed and make it feel a little bit like Wood for Greatness. It doesn't have, it's it's not as good as Wood for Greatness, but it reminds me of it. I never tried London by Tom Ford, so I cannot tell you how similar they are. So I'm picking up cumin and saffron on the paper, as I already said. I'm picking up some pepper. On paper, there is a lot of pepper. On my skin, there's, there's way less. There's a little something of a little note of coffee. I would say it's somewhat woody and, and really spicy. That's about it, what I'm picking up on the paper. On my skin, the top note I was picking up was cumin and saffron that was really powerful. There was a little bit of coffee, but it was really low. And a little bit of pepper also, but it was really low, the, the power of this. And there was some jasmine. It was like more powerful than the coffee and the pepper, but it was less powerful than the other. Then as it dried down, the jasmine stayed there. It turned more into a jasmine fragrance. If I would compare it to Wood for Greatness, that turned more into Wood. This one turned into jasmine. It's still got the animalic feel of the jasmine in the beginning that also contribute to make it look like Wood for Greatness. And I never tried London by Tom Ford, but I would assume that it smells either a lot like Wood for Greatness or somehow what they made smell more like Wood for Greatness than London. So anyway, if you tried both London and Wood for Greatness, write in the comment if you believe they smell the same, because for me, this is almost a clone of Wood for Greatness, like just Jack with some kind of a syrupy jasmine inside of it, like a bunch of uh, their, their fragrance, but for me, it's more a clone of, of uh, Wood for Greatness. In the heart note, there's jasmine and there's also some incense that is there. I would say the jasmine is more powerful, but than the incense, but it, the incense is still uh, easy to smell. And in the base note, it really transformed itself. It became more wood and birch. And there's a little bit of cedar also, but it's mostly wood and birch. For the longevity, it lasted about five hours on my skin, which is average for a fragrance, especially for the, at this price, it's good. You Sometimes nice fragrance for this price are not as long. I would think of Burberry, for example. This is good for $20, five hours, it's nice. It's just not crazy. And the projection is average. So like a little bubble around you, people will smell it. So everything is average, but the smell is really nice. That's a good thing. Now for the complete note breakdown, top notes are black pepper, coffee, coriander, cardamom, cumin, and saffron. Heart notes are jasmine, frankincense, cystus, and Egyptian geranium. And the base note are birch, musk, wood, and cedarwood. And where I would see this fragrance, for me, it's more of a business fragrance, even though there's some jasmine in it that I wouldn't consider really business. It's just in the heart notes, it's not the whole life of the fragrance. It's really more of a woody, spicy fragrance of something that's maybe a bit elegant, but has a lot of power. This is a great fragrance. As a dating perfume, I don't think it will be really good. It will be really different, but it's not really sweet. It's not really the style that 
with a track complement, but again, it all depends on people, but it's not in that style. So that's not, I'm putting it as a dating perfume. In the summer winter spectrum, I would say would be neither good for summer, neither for winter, it will be in between. So if I would compare it to Oud for greatness, I would say that it would be good for summer. It will be a good alternative for summer if you like that fragrance because it's project less, so it will choke people out less if you wear it. And as an everyday fragrance, it's not the style that is really everyday fragrance and it doesn't last the whole day, it lasts only five hours, so it wouldn't be really good as an everyday fragrance but if you're someone that like bold fragrance that could be nice also because you will have to reapply it through the day so you can switch fragrance at lunchtime if you enjoy that kind of thing it wouldn't be a good one but you can make it work now who i would see wearing this fragrance the fact that it's it's cheap would make me think that the kind of person i would imagine with the smell would not be wearing this one but it Reminds me of what someone that is in managing position in a business, maybe a CEO or the head of like marketing or head of finance or something like that, maybe a head of sales. This is what that kind of people will wear. And from the price it is, I would say maybe someone that aspire to have that kind of job will be who I would see wearing this fragrance. And also I want to add that I'm really happy that I tried this because it's not one fragrance that seemed interesting at all, but there was few left to try and it's really nice. I really love it. It's something that I will keep and use again and again. It might be a little bit harsh and powerful for summer, but during fall probably I will start wearing it again more often. It's a nice fragrance. Really it's one of the best from this jacket. So, Hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, we'll like and share. If you have any question about London Eye or also if you tried the original London by Tom Ford, tell me what you think about it. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.